Hello guys, this is Jamie Butler, 1 0, and welcome to the next in the series of the Royal Battle semi finals. Yes, we are here, we are so close now. And as you can see by the crazy total down there, this is Air versus Dragon's Fury. So obviously, Air over at Alton Towers versus Dragon's Fury over at Chesterton World of Adventures. Now, the question is, who is going to win this crazy ride battle? Now, honestly, I have no idea on this one because basically, in my opinion, they're both pretty alright coasters. I think they're quite even, even though one's a Morrison and one's a BM. But at the end of the day, we'll see. I'm going to read out some of the statistics again. I'm going to put a bit of the ride footage on screen and then obviously I'm going to leave it up to you. Now, as you can see in the previous ride battle, it was Nemesis versus Mumbo Jumbo. Now, I know that wasn't really a fair battle, but at the end of the day, that is how it all come out. So, um, obviously, Nemesis won that battle, so they will be going back into the next round up again, up against Stealth. So, it'll be Nemesis versus Stealth in that one. So, yes, it is Air versus Dragon's Fury. So, let's get into battling them coasters. So Air is currently operating over at the Alton Towers theme park in the Forbidden Valley Park section of the theme park. It is currently operating and has since since the 16th of March 2002 with a cost of £12 million. It is a steel flying coaster manufactured by B&M and the designer was John Wardley. It is a custom layout which is obviously a flying coaster with a chain lift hill with a height of 20 metres which is around about 66 foot with a length of 840 metres which is um, 2,760 feet with a speed of 75 kilometers per hour which is 47 miles per hour. Interesting fact put in here, the fastest bit on air is actually not the first drop. It is just after you come backwards and you fly under the tunnel. That is actually the fastest bit on air. It has two inversions with a duration of 1 minute and 40 seconds with a capacity of 1,000 riders per hour with a dual station. The maximum g-force on this you'll get is 3.5 with a height restriction of 140 centimeters which is 4 foot 7 or 1.4 meters. The trains in this is three craft trains with seven cars. Riders are arranged four across in a single row for a total of 28 riders per train. Fast track is available as well as single rider line. So that is air over at Alton Towers. Now let's read some statistics for Dragon's Fury over at Chesterton World of Adventures. So Dragon's Fury over at Chesterton World of Adventures is obviously in the Chesterton World of Adventures Land of the Dragons Park section area. It is currently operating and has since, since March the 22nd 2004 with a cost of four million pounds it is a steel coaster manufactured by morrison with the designer being john wardley extended sac 3000 model with a chain lift hill height of 50.8 feet which is 15.5 meters with a length of 1706 feet which is 520 meters zero inversions on this with a capacity of 950 riders per hour 48 inches which is a height restriction on this which is about 122 centimeters trains on this are eight trains with a single car riders are arranged two across in two rows for a total of four riders per train with fast track and single line rider line being available so that is obviously dragon fury versus air over at Alton Towers. Who's going to win? It is totally up to you now. Um, I want you to cash your votes down below for the next battle. So obviously the next battle will be... The Swarm versus the Runaway Mine Train. So that is the Swarm over Fort Park versus the Runaway Mine Train over at Alton Towers. So cash your votes below for Dragon's Fury versus Hair. I want to know who wins and tune in for the next ride battles. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Jamie Watt. I want to know, like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.